Okay, so not too long ago, I made this battleship, and it was pretty cool. But today I'm going to be doing something a bit different. Basically, I want to make a plane that has a battleship cannon, like a whole turret and all. So for this, I'm, not, I'm going to make my own battleship cannon and not steal it from any of my previous builds. And yeah, so let's start. So, first we're going to start off the base. This is going to be quite a wide plane, so this needs quite a lot of space for a battleship gun. Now, this wasn't too hard, and it was pretty easy to get a light shape, except the like cockpit bit on the front was a bit hard to do, but ah, well. Now we've got the main like bit of it, we just need the engines. Now these were quite hard because I didn't have long to make them lots of times, which, but it wasn't too hard in the end. I also put thrusters inside them so we can actually use them for like thrust and stuff, but also up thrust and forward thrust. Now, gaining the light shape was, and size was pretty hard, but eventually they looked pretty good on the actual um, the body. Now, you might notice they also had the, they also mounted the tail on the back, which was which actually made it look pretty cool. The tail was quite hard because they didn't know how, how thick to make it, but eventually it looked alright. I also put one wing on, but we kind of need another one. So yeah, we're almost done with the shape now, so when we just weld on this wing, it should be done. And this wing actually looks pretty cool, but first we need a door. And this won't be any door, since this will just be a button door. Because I just think switches don't look very well, so it's just going to be controlled by buttons. So the way this is going to work is <laughs> there's going to be a spark gun that's controlled by both um, buttons. That will shoot a switch to toggle it on and off, which is just connected to the controller, which is pretty simple, but also makes it, this thing look a lot cooler. And as you can see, it can work. It does make a bit of a spike on sound, but that doesn't matter too much. So, to start to make this thing fly, we're basically just going to add switches and connect them to all the thrusters. Now, this is going to be pretty easy, but also we're going to have to change quite a lot of the thrusters, like strength. Because I want this thing to be like neutrally buoyant and also well kind of sta stabilize stable. Since the problem the problem is there's gonna be no auto stabilization on this thing. As you can see, I might have made this last a bit too much power, but I well. So anyway. Now we just need now to test if it is buoyant. I basically just turned the switch on and basically just well, well let it off the lift and see how it will do. Now I was kind of expecting it to be neutrally buoyant, but it definitely was not. It definitely needed more thrust in the back. But anyway, let's change that. And after changing that, we're going to work on actual well control. So first, I'm going to work on pitch, which can be controlled by W and S. Now, this is going to be pretty simple since if you hook a thruster up into the seat, W will always activate it. So that's going to be useful for pitching wealth down. But for it, to pitch up, we're going to need a, well, an S converter. Basically, it means if you press it S, it'll activate the thrusters, which is what we need. Now, I'm going to make this inside the engine because there's quite a lot of space there. But it should work now. The only It does work, but the only problem is it's just not powerful enough. It also sometimes does break a bit, but that can easily be solved pretty soon. So yeah, the pitch is okay, but it's not great and isn't very powerful. So I think I might make it a bit more powerful. But anyway, we also need to add rolls since we do tilt to it. It's actually pretty okay to fly right now, even though you can only fly in a straight line. So now I'm going to add roll. Now this is just going to be pretty simple, I use an A and D converter. 
So now we can actually roll. Now this is pretty much the same with the W and S thing, but just slightly different. So yeah, now we can roll. It's incredibly slow, so I think I'm going to need to change it a bit to make it more powerful. But it is still pretty good. Now we can't turn very well with our roll, so I think I might add the actual proper turning. But anyway. Now I'm just trying to balance out like how much upwards thrust we have, because I want it to be pretty much a neutral. So yeah, now I'm adding thrust as we turn. This is pretty simple, that's going to be controlled by little two buttons, one for turning right and one for turning left. So anyway, yeah, now we can kind of turn, kind of. It's not powerful enough, so we can hardly turn, which is kind of a problem, so let's change this. All we have to do is add more thrusters, and that's a lot more noticeable, and we can turn kind of sharp, but not really. But it helps a lot, and actually looks pretty cool. I did change the cockpit a bit so I could actually get out of my seat mid-flight, so I can actually get into the battleship, well, cannon seat. And I'm also making it so this thing slows down and I'm not in its seat. So, yeah. Now I want to start on the battleship cannon part of it. Now this is basically just going to be in the middle of the plane, well, on top of the plane. So yeah, now I'm basically making it so when I add a seat, I will be able to control this thing and basically aim it. So now I'm actually going to start by making the battleship kind of like exterior. Now this is basically just going to be a big box, but anyway, I'm going to try and make it look like a good big, big box. But then I got quickly got bored and started working on the actual cannon. Now this cannon is just going to be pretty simple. It's just going to use slug guns hitting cardboard and sending the projectile flying. Now this thing will have four ammo, which is pretty good, and will allow us to shoot quite a few things. After uh, well around five minutes, here it is. This is, isn't the finished project product and things that do need to be changed. But it's also pretty good, you can send stuff pretty far, and you can also reload relatively quickly. Now I'm actually going to try and put them in the actual cannon. Now I'm going to have two, one, well, one for each barrel. Now I'm saying we'll have barrels, but they won't really be functional, but anyway. So we might have to actually extend the actual battleship cannon a bit, but as you can see, we fit everything in. It does <laughs> go a bit over like the line of how big this thing should be. We'll just have to make the battleship cannon a bit bigger. As you can see, you can shoot pretty far, and we can also aim. You can also aim, which is pretty cool, and I also added it so they're both in the same button. So now I'm just doing a few finishing, touch, finishing touches, and I also added the rest of the exterior to the battle, battleship cannon. And this one actually looks pretty cool. Now you can see now we can aim and fire as much as we want. Ooh, the first person view isn't great, but ah well.
So it was it's a bit of fine tuning to do since the battleship cannon kind of made the weight all along, since there's more weight at the top now, and it means that we basically start to pitch up a bit too much. As you can see, we're completely, well, going backwards and we're about to crash in here. But this is, is a pretty easy fix, and just need to add more thrust in the back. Now this thing actually fly pretty well now. Of course we did crash, but that's still something fun to us. Now this thing's pretty easy to fly, and I can actually fly it pretty easily. The only problem is it goes a bit too fast for us to get out of our seat, otherwise we just glitch through it and fall out. And now this is pretty good. Now we can easily go into the battleship can and we could sh we could aim and even shoot if we wanted. Now there are still a few problems, like currently we're slanting a bit, but it shouldn't matter too much. I also covered up some of the ugly bits because I don't want to see them while I'm walk walking around inside it. But yeah, now it's pretty much done. Now it's not great, but it's still pretty cool. And we can also turn pretty sharp, not really sharp, but it's kind of realistically sharp. Now this thing isn't very effective at like, shooting anything, because it's pretty hard to aim, and also this thing's more of a two player plane, so you need one person driving and one person to aim a battleship cannon, but ah well. Now we can fly and shoot, which is pretty good, since this thing's actually pretty stable, and it shouldn't tilt it much if we just leave it be. So yeah, I just gave it a pay quick paint job pretty quickly, but, and it's just all grey now. I'm not very good at painting, so I just painted it all grey, because it looks okay. But anyway, how effective is this thing? Not very, it's, you can't really, well, if you're trying to shoot something, you can't really, like, get out of your seat and aim in time, or it'll just be gone, because this thing's actually kind of fast. Now... I did hook up the button to shoot to just the seat button, and it was pretty bad to be honest. I I crashed into a tree, and the auto reloading system didn't work for some reason, which I don't know why. But anyway, this thing is pretty good though. It's pretty powerful, slow plane, and also it looks pretty menacing. It also well looks pretty cool as well. We're just a battleship cannon. Now, this thing isn't very good, and I even tried to shoot down the splint, but missed completely. But instead I just crashed into it, and that was enough to send it tumbling down to the ground, which is pretty cool. So this thing is pretty powerful, and it's also a pretty good plane without the battleship cannon. It was actually pretty fun to make. Quite hard to get everything right, since the battleship cannon, I thought there might be a few problems with it, and there mostly was. The auto reloading system didn't work half the time, because it rotated it the wrong way, most, which I should have changed, but... It's just going to copy it over twice. It didn't really work. But anyway, bye.